Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I am the RNG, yes, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we had our first go at the King of Skulls. Not that we were able to reach him, but still I, I, I felt like saying that because, um, well, in the end of the last episode I might or might not have lost my composure and started screaming and ravaging and um, it took a lot of tea to, you know, fix my throat after that because my throat kind of hurt. And it's still hurting, and uh, that didn't end well. I died at a point where I did not want to die, and well... Your victories may have made you complacent. No, no, they have not made me complacent. Let's play story mode. The King of Skulls is going to fall. The Corrupted Soul is a really horrible curse. Weak wrists is okay because I don't have to... I don't have to um, perform those prone finishers. Once more the king howls for your flesh. In terms of... I did not get anything new, did I? Fire in the deep. What's that? Tavern attack. I shouldn't have gotten anything new. I did the I died on the Druid quest with Summer Solstice. They were they got attacked by a rat men. And I did not want to die there. I did want I wanted to finish that event. I'm, I'm a fighter, that's why I, what I'm hired for. Fighting, not losing. Aid of Plague. Ratman to f to fight Ratman is awful. I still haven't gotten. I still haven't understood how to fight Ratman. What brings you to play the game? Oh, minus ten max health. Look at that. Tell me. Like Maze of traps. Oh, what a great start. Now that can be good. You discover another of the Goblin King's treasure vaults. Will you try your luck at plundering his wealth once more? I boldly enter the vault. We know that there's a little goblin man throwing bombs, so I'd rather not get hit by those. Can you? Okay. Ooh, I've got a little bit of leeway here. Oh, he's throwing, isn't he? Have you thrown? You throw? And then I can look around. I think that's easy to dodge. Gotta dodge that bomb as well. I'm gonna go when he throws. God, there's like, I'm not able to see anything here. That's awful, camera. Will you throw? Oh, well, yeah, I definitely took damage there. Oh, those are, oh God, those are arrow traps. Look at that. Is that a death? That's gonna be awesome. That's a treasure chest. Got the treasure chest. Didn't get any gold though. I wish I could take out that little ass head. But alas, oh, I got, oh yeah, that's a death. I did not see those arrow traps. Uh, just, I wish I had like a fast forward option here because that's just, Oh, I've got to shuffle my deck again, and you have to watch. Yeah, you have to watch how I shuffle my deck, and then you have to go back into it. Let us see what fate lies ahead now. Look, I've shuffled the deck. Let's let's do this again. That was great. Has the challenge become too much for you to face? Nope, nope. It was just that one trap room that's become too much, because it's it dig situation that you put me through. Those traps are hard. Those traps are really hard to work with because I cannot turn down the sensitivity on my analog stick. And then you put that little guy in the middle that has me only moving me like, like, like bursts. No. Only the then I can move when I dodge the projectile. And 
when they begin to The lovers, for a start, that's good. In the town of Stigal, you meet a man who is serenading a young lady at her window. At your approach, he stops and turns to speak to you. My love and I wish to marry and leave this town, but her father has forbidden it. He is the master of the guild, a powerful figure in Stigal, with many armed men at his command. I saw you fighting in the arenas. Please, will you help us to escape the town, that we might live together in happiness? No, your your relationship is doomed, I'll report you. The young man flees as you knock on the door. An armed guard takes you to the dining hall where a large, well-dressed man sits, noisily eating a lavish banquet. The nobleman doesn't look up and continues to eat as you tell him about the young suitor who intends to steal away his daughter. A gesture to the guard sends them from the room, sends, sends them from the room and soon afterwards, they return with a young man struggling between them. I curse you, fiend, cries the young man as he is dragged away. Draw one curse card. Mana drain. Cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. The nobleman stops eating long enough to say, You've been useful. My guards will see that you are rewarded on your way out. Dealer draws you three gain cards. 30 gold. 7 gold, 20 gold, well that was not worth the minus 10 max HP, but we now know what that does. Another curse, you're not having much luck right now are you? Hmm. One day while traveling through a forest you come across a man hanging by his ankle. You inquire about his current predicament but he explains that he does not want any help. I have accepted the destiny that fate has decreed for me, just like you should accept yours. Draw one blessing card, draw one curse card. Self-righteous! On any hit the player inflicts two more damage for each blessing they possess. Great. Last man standing. In every combat the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned or interrupted. Oh. You leave the clearly deranged man to his fate, since that is what he wants. Charity too. There's a token in it for you if you win. You encounter a priest wandering along the road. He begs for food to feed the orphans. The gods show favor to those who help the less fortunate. Give food to the priest. A worthy decision, the priest exclaims. How many young ones will see another summer due to your generosity? Only one. The priest looks at your humble offering for a moment, then sighs. Every morsel is treasured, of course, but the children will need more sustenance to make it through the winter. Let me see if I have anything in my sack with which to reward such generosity. Oh, awful. Fair enough. No luck, I'm afraid, but take my blessing. One blessing. High constitution. Whenever the player eats food, they gain twice the usual healing. Very nice. But not at the current health la level I'm at. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? What a kick in the ass. One day while traveling through a forest you come across another man hanging by his ankle. Look at all these men hanging by their ankles. This is strange. You inquire about his current predicament, but he explains that he does not want any help. I've accepted the destiny that fate has decreed for me just like you should accept yours. Guardian Angel, after your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. Haunted. Whenever the player purchases a new item, they gain a curse. You leave the clearly deranged man to his fate, since that is what he wants. Ladder escape. To continue forwards, you must first ascend down a ladder and into the, no the unknown. You have discovered the exit to this area. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? Well, this is not going to be a victory, because look at this map. I'm just going to take the wrong way and then take all the damage. I oh, yeah, look at you. Look at you taking away my good blessings. Well, fair enough. I'm going to gain one token. 
In your dreams one night, you are summoned to a fiery pit and greeted by a familiar demon. Greetings, mortal. I am again in need of spiritual fulfillment. Trade you another magical item for it. Pay two blessings for a magical item. Sure. The demon eyes you hungrily. It opens its fiery maw and you feel some part of your soul dragged into that hellish abyss. This card's token is now yours. Tasty, the demon exclaims. I don't know what the second token was. That's the second blessing was he took away. Your new magical item will be sent along to the mortal realm soon. In the meantime, take this old thing. Draw one equipment card. Heavy armor. Well, that's a lot of defense. Robust. Honest. But also slows movement speed. For light armor. Good. Let's see which blessing he took away. I still have the guardian angel. That was the one I cared about. Good. Local peasant. Well, look at you. I can't feed you, woman. I don't have anything. Goodbye then, stranger, the woman says, waiting for you to move on. That was the exit. Trial by combat, summer solstice. I would have died on that route. I would still die on that route. Let's just continue. Caves and caverns. A dank foreboding cave lies between you and your goal. You have discovered the exit to this area. Enter the cave. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Do you understand what it is we do? I have to say, hard mode in this game is just a... Nah. It's not, it's not really you are required to be better at the game. It's just you have to try more often until you finally get a good chance. Which is not exactly what hard mode is supposed to be in my opinion. Hard mode is something that is supposed to require for you to have high skills, uh, high level of skills at a very good decision making, very, um, well, effective in combat where you don't take damage but this is less of not taking damage in combat because you you just you can get to the final boss with a good weapon and beat him and you have a higher chance of achieving that on a lower difficulty but if you meet the wrong encounter you're just gonna die you're just gonna die and you try as often as you can to not have that encounter happen that's how i progress through the game which is not which is not ideal, which is not, you know, because I did something well, but because the game made me love or allowed for me to get far. For eons, which takes my, which takes a fair bit of enjoyment out of the experience, I have to be honest there. Traveling mage, well, look at that. That's what I required. Thank you. Finally, Complain an opportunity to eat. Well, not a good one though, because the mage w well wants a lot of money. Okay, what else does he have? No, I'm not gonna buy more. Sure what do you have? Plunderous cap is nice. I think that has good synergy with my. I uh, know oh, that's it doesn't. That's a different item. I'm still gonna take it. Just to try it on. Choice is always an asset. Oh, I forgot! Friggin' hell! Oh, okay, that's a mistake. It's a mistake I made. Arcane frailty! Yeah. No, I forgot about that! Well, I'm gonna spend my, the rest of my gold on food then. Well, even if I make it down there, I'm not gonna, you know, you know full well, I'm not gonna beat the boss with this much, with this, with this much health. I need like the the f defeat skeleton's weapon and get through that unscathed. Not happening. Oh, thank the Lord for this warlord. Yeah, claim your token. Twisted Canyon. That's where I could get the weapon. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. Climb down. <clears throat> oh, a few handholds. Yeah, well, that was nice. I completely forgot about that pick. Completely forgot about the pick. 
You carefully make your way down the side of the rocky cliff. As you approach the bottom, your hands slip and you fall ungracefully to the ground. Luckily, nobody was watching. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Rat cleaver, pretty good. Not undead bane, though. Nope. Well, we're gonna have to walk back. Traveling mage doesn't have anything to offer for me. Pass it by. And continue on my road. Battle at Brooktop. Hello, Death. At a light draws you to a nearby hilltop where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind his summoned minions. Draw two monster cards. Oh, that's impossible. You ready yourself for combat. Possible but not plausible. Oh, that's a fire lizard. Oh, what? I... <laughs> oh, there's a... There's two traps here, I see. Have that back. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, I couldn't get out of that situation with a dodge. The duo, like the two bandits were blocking my dodge path, that one was doing a, an unblockable attack and I was getting shot by a fireball from that direction. I don't think I could have gotten out of that. For satisfying the Demon Trader, you receive these cards. Berserker Ring and Demon Trader 3. Are you kidding? I was, I was hoping that path was gone so I could take that card out again. Well, I think I have had enough of this game for the moment because I am friggin' frustrated like nobody's business. Well, that's okay. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.